Hello and welcome to Get Your Play Online. My name is Jalen and tonight we're going to be reading the bedtime story, Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kurt. This book is really fun because it has a lot of different colors, the illustrations are really cool, and it has a really good message that I hope we can all take away from reading this tonight. So let's first do a little walk through some of the pictures that we want to see and just talk a little bit about them. So the first picture that we see right now, we're going to see quite a few different insects throughout this book. We're going to start talking about the main character, Miss Spider. She starts to meet some new friends. So now we get to see other bugs to see what things that they do with Miss Spider. Throughout the book we're going to see different colors like blue, yellow, black with the fireflies right here. We're going to see some familiar insects like some bumblebees. Looks like some this might be sort of an ant. Looks like over here there's a little bug catcher. Sometimes when I like to go outside, I do like to use a bug catcher to see what I can catch. So then I can have a closer look of what, what I have caught. Right now in my backyard, some things that are moving and grooving are some cicadas. So sometimes I get to see the cicadas exoskeleton, which is like their outer shell. And I see that sometimes on the trees. So when I am currently thinking of bug catchers, I'm thinking about cicadas or butterflies. So these are a familiar um, insect. This is an ant that is being shown right here. To me, this kind of looks like a fire ant because it's red. Some other things that we're going to see when we read this book. Looks like there's some butterflies here. And it looks like this is a bouquet of flowers. A bouquet is when you have flowers that are on really long stems and they're just all put together so you can hold them easier. Sometimes you get uh, bouquets of flowers if it's your birthday, if it's a special occasion. Looks like on this page there might be a tea party that's going to be happening. So we see some cups, and it looks like there's some sort of food here. What kind of food do you think a spider would eat at the tea party? Maybe a cake? Maybe jello? I don't know. We'll find out. Looks like there's some maybe moths over here. When I think of moths and I think of butterflies, something that helps me remember the difference is that moths sometimes, they tend to not have as bright as colors as the butterflies a few pages back. You can see there, this butterfly is yellow, this one is purple. Um, what color do you think that one is? Looks like it's a blue butterfly. But when we flip to this page and we look at these moths, they don't look like they're as bright as the colors. Looks like we're gonna find some more bugs. These look a little bit like fireflies. Fireflies remind me of summertime. When I go outside, all the fireflies, they're lit up and it's fun to try to catch them. And then when you catch them in your hand and they glow, it's pretty cool. Let's see what else we're going to uncover with Miss Spider's story. Oh. How do you think Miss Spider feels in this picture? Do you think she feels happy or do you think she feels sad? I think that Miss Spider probably feels sad in this picture. It looks like she may be crying. There looks like there may be a few tears on her cheek. I like to see why she's so upset when we read the book. It looks like here with Miss Spider, we have another friend that we were just talking about. Can you guys see who this probably is? Do you think that's a butterfly or do you think that's a moth? It looks like it's a moth to me because of the coloring. On its wings. Looks like there's some more 
insects that we're going to meet later on. It looks like there's going to be a big party. And it looks like maybe Miss Spider ends up being happy after all. So like I said, this book's going to have a lot of different colors that we can talk about, a lot of different insects. But let's just get right to it. So, Miss Spider's Tea Party by David Kirk. One lonely spider sipped her tea while gazing at the sky. She watched the, watched the insects on the leaves and many flying by. If I had friends like these, she sighed, he'd stay a while with me. I'd sit them down on silken chairs and serve them cakes and tea. This picture looks like Miss Spider is getting ready for a tea party with some friends that she wants to have. Looks like she's sipping some tea. Do you think that her friends are going to come or do you think that they might not come? I don't know. We might find out. Two timid beetles, Ike and May, crept from the woodwork that same day. But when Miss Spider begged, please stay, they shrieked, oh no, and dashed away. Three fireflies flew inside that night, their fears to tie, their tails alight. They spied the web and squeaked in fear, we'd better get away from here. The little trio did not feel they'd care to be a spider's meal. Do you think that Miss Spider was trying to eat them, or do you think that she was just trying to hang out with them? I think that she was just trying to have some friends. Four bumblebees buzzed outside. Please come to tea, Miss Spider cried. The four ignored her swaying there. She waved a tea towel in the air. She took a cup and tapped the glass. Then one bee spoke to her at last. We would be fools to take our tea with anyone so spiteful. There are the bees again. Within the shadows of the room, just peeking from behind a broom, five grinning faces bobbled and peered. Miss Spider smiled, her heart was cheered. Descending for a closer look, she danced into the gloomy nook, but sadly found those jolly mugs belonged, alas, to rubber bugs. So these bugs that were smiling at her and she was so excited because she wanted them to come have tea, it ended up that they were just pretend toys. Some ants strode in, they numbered six, but ants the spiders will not miss. She brewed them tea from hips of roses, the proud canteen came up with their noses. A fine bouquet concealed its prize of seven dainty butterflies. The spider watching from the wall was not aware of them at all. Let's see if maybe we can count these seven. Be like a little eye spy. So it says that there's seven butterflies. Looks like Miss Spider's up here. Can you find the other seven butterflies? I'll give you a hint. Like there's a blue butterfly, an orange and black butterfly. So we're at two. A red one, three. Oh, another blue one, four. Another blue one, five. Another yellow one, six. And then can you find the last butterfly? Looks like that's where the seventh butterfly is. Good job. The tea table was set for eight with saucers, cups, and silver plate. The cakes were fresh, the silvers gleamed. Yet no one would rise, it seemed. Her company in no demean left her a cup for every queen. Do you know how many legs? A spider has. The spider has eight legs. So that means that her tea table had eight different places for her friends, but they didn't show up so she could have a cup in every single hand. How do you think Miss Spider feels in this? I think she it seems like she's pretty sad. Nine spotted moths kept safe and warm and sheltered from a thunderstorm. They stood beneath an open sash and watched the jagged lightning flash. Miss Spider dropped down on a thread, a silver tray above her head. She'd hoped to please him, but instead... Can you see Miss Spider in this picture? 
Is she on the top or is she on the bottom? Looks like she's on the top and the moths are on the bottom. They flew away in mortal dread. Looks like they were a little scared with her coming down from her web. They've left me all alone, she cried. It's, she dabbed her eyes and sadly sighed. It's plain no bug will ever stay. Her tears splashed down upon the tray. Ten tiny streaming cups of tea were perched atop her trembling knee. She sipped and sobbed, then heard a cough, and turned to see a small wet moth, a fragile thing so soaked by rain, his wings too damp to fly away. What do you think Miss Spider is going to do? Do you think that maybe she will just continue to walk by, or do you think that maybe she's going to help the moth? I think she's going to help the moth, yeah. She smiled and took a checkered cloth, to cloak the frail and thankful moth. They talked and snacked on tea and pie until his tiny wings were dry. Then lifting him with tender care, she tossed him gently in the air. So what did Miss Spider do? Did you catch that? So Miss Spider put a towel around the moth because his wings were wet. So think about after you get to the pool or the lake or sometime whenever you get wet. You dry off with the towel, and then your body's dry. So that's what she helped with the moth. And once he was able to be dry, then she lifted him into the sky, and he flew away. Now what do you think is going to happen? Where do you think the moth is going to go? Let's see. The moth told Ike, then Ike told May, who went from bug to bug to say, There is no reason for alarm. She's never meant us any harm. So later on that afternoon, assembled in the dining room, eleven insects came to tea to share Miss Spider's courtesy. So it looks like the eleven insects are sitting around the table with Miss Spider. Do you think that this makes Miss Spider sad or do you think this makes her happy? Right, I think it's going to make her happy. Twelve tender violets in a vase presented at Miss Spider's place. Set by her chair so neatly spun, she munched the blossoms one by one. Her friends were glad to watch her feast upon the floral centerpiece. It was a great relief to see. She ate just flowers and drank just tea. Before too long, our, ho our hostess knew each bug who crawled or hopped or flew, and all their lovely children, too. So it ended up that Miss Spider was able to have a tea party where she had all her friends come. No one was scared from her anymore. So then she was able to know everyone in her little neighborhood. And then this is the end. So I think this story was a really great way to show that sometimes if other people are different from us, that we need to go and we need to ask out and we need to be a friend and see just how their differences make us all better. So I think that it was awesome that the one moth was able to tell everyone else that Miss Spider was fun, that she wasn't going to hurt them. But sometimes it just takes one child to make sure that a different child has friends as well. Thank you guys so much for staying with me tonight to read Miss Spider's Tea Party. I hope you enjoyed this time as much as I did. And everyone, sleep tight and have a good night.